and a God of wrath. Over 600 times in the Holy Scripture, the wrath of God is declared. And the Bible says, He who believes in the Son has eternal life. And he who does not believe the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God remains on you. And Jesus Christ came to satisfy God's wrath on your behalf. Yes, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who was born of a virgin, conceived supernaturally by the Holy Spirit. He came 2,000 years ago and walked the very earth that you are walking. He came to give himself as a sacrifice. And he lived a sinless, perfect life. He fulfilled the law of God. And then he voluntarily gave himself on the cross. He shed his innocent blood, friend. He shed his blood and died on the cross. The perfect, sinless Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, the King of glory, went to the cross of Calvary to shed his blood for my sin and for your sin. And then on the third day, he rose again, forever defeating sin, death, Satan, and hell, and is seated at the right hand of the Father in power. King Jesus, worship eternally by angels at the right hand of the Father. And God now requires all men and women, the young and the old, to repent. God commands you to repent to believe upon Him, because God has fixed the day at which He will judge the world in righteousness by His absolute, perfect, moral righteousness, His standard, the Ten Commandments. And God's commandments reveal God's holy standard, His righteousness, and it reveals my unrighteousness and your unrighteousness. Are you trusting in Christ, my friend? The Bible says the wrath of God abides on you. And the Bible says that it is appointed once for this man to die, once for me to die, once for you to die, ma'am, once for you to die, sir, and then comes the judgment. You see, we'll all stand before the highest court of heaven and earth. And those who have rejected the gospel of Jesus Christ will stand before the great white throne judgment. And your faith will be sealed for all of your sins from cradle to grave and thought for the deed will be exposed before the holy God and God's punishment for sin for sinning against the holy God all your lies all your thievery adultery dishonoring your parents all sin will send you to eternal judgment under the wrath of God but see, God demonstrated His love, friends, and He sent His Son as a substitute for our punishment on the cross. But you must repent and believe this good news of the gospel. As Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger. And whoever believes on me shall never thirst. You see, Jesus Christ can bring peace to your soul. He can give you rest. And the peace Jesus Christ gives, no man can take away. The things of this world, friends, are but perishable. See God.